Yeah, welcome back to the TSL Codex. <laughs> was that you? That was me, man. I heard, it, I heard it in the song, and I had to bring it back here, man. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, man. You sounded just like the song. I did. I got I was it. like, that. that's at the 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 size of Tasteless' voice in my ears, but it sounds just like the song. I was a voice actor, Tosis. Yeah, I guess so. And now I still am. I proved myself again. Mm -hmm. No, uh, we're here, if you're just now joining us, in... A series that so far has been more one-sided than a Mobius strip. I mean, this is so unbelievably an innovation's favor. Sybil has done one uh, uh, all-in timing. Yeah. And it worked. He's done two other all-in timings that didn't, and one standard game to innovation just slowly choked him out. Well, Daybreak, if there's a map that you can cut in half, it's Daybreak. So will Sybil play to that? to that uh, area? Will he try to get into the late game, secure that middle base? And well, you know, here's, here's, here's the problem I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. Innovation. Um, is a perfect is cyborg a perfect sent human, the future. Yeah, yeah. I think he's actually an alien. And he's, like one he's day not he'll just peel one of the Borg, off. he's the perfect Borg. But second of all is that Simple did three teases in a row right now. Mm -hmm. Do you go back to standard play? I don't know. No. We're going to find out soon though here. Because this is the GSL Codex. In the bottom left, can anybody stop this human? We'll see. He is. STX Sword Innovation. I just noticed the command centers kind of like they have little feet. They're like little quadrupeds. Yeah, kind of, yeah. They are. It's like a really big coffee table. It, uh, yeah, that's well said. And over here, <laughs> in the upper right, we have our Zerk player. He needs to come back. Can he do it? He is. Ajubu Simbar. That's just a fancy you know, cupcake. We you know what that actually, the hatchery looks like. Did you ever have a... Um, I don't know what these places are called, like the proper term, but like a discovery zone. One of these places where there's like, it's a, got ball pits and tubes that you crawl Yeah, through. I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It we looks like you, if you went inside a hatchery, it looks like it could have one of those. Oh, yeah, like bouncy balls and bouncy stuff. Bouncy balls does look and cushy. little slides. It does and, look cushy. Yeah. I would love to just go inside a hatchery and lay down in all the slime and just take a nap. <laughs> You know, I've heard I've heard those ball pits that kids play in. Yeah. I got Chuck E. Cheese's, or I, I don't know if I'm getting too uh, provincial here in my descriptions of this, but you know, I don't know if they have these. I don't know if this is like purely like a Midwestern American no, no, thing. It, it, is this all over the states? Yeah, the ball pits and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if other countries have this, but there are places that you can go where you eat pizza with your kids and the kids. And yeah. I'm talking like really, that's a winning, really young kids. Winning combination. It is. It is. Pizza and ball pits and arcade games. That's, yeah, uh, yeah. It's arcade games and there's ball pits and kids play. I've heard those ball pits are so gross, like with germs. Oh, I bet. I mean, it's just kids just like drooling and rolling around in them, and I don't know how they're cleaned. I don't know. I don't know, know if they are cleaned. Like, I don't know if I ever told this story, but no, we went to one of Wait, those no, places. I'm so excited because the look on your face right now. It's it's kind of funny. So my my older brother uh, actually was really into juggling. At one point, okay, and so we we went to like one of those places once, and he just he took like three balls, and he he just like stole three balls because he wanted them for juggling because they were like really good for juggling. You know, he doesn't really have any money; he's a kid. Yeah, and of so course, I like yeah. go up to his bedroom. He's like, "I'm going to show you something, but you have to promise not to tell." I'm like, "Okay." And so he shows me the balls. Yeah, and I go, "Oh wow!" He's like, "All right, but don't tell mom." I'm like, "Okay." So then I went downstairs and told my mom right away and then he <laughs> stole them. <laughs> what did your mom do? I don't remember. I think she yelled at him like slightly, but not too bad because I don't know. They, they're like cheap plastic balls. The plastic like, balls, man. The pizza is I just more remember, than paid for that, I guess. I remember I going know. to a, a birthday party when I was a little kid at um, uh, Chuck E. Cheese's, which is just like this pizza place that has arcade games. And, yeah. Uh, I'm like a super young kid here. And... Uh, they have these uh, robot with these animatronics, yes. like like I don't know if you guys have seen like the Berenstein Bear ride, yeah, at uh, like Disney World, like like 
it, it, it's one of these things where they have these robots that play guitars and sing. Mm -hmm. And like all the children were just sobbing and crying because they were so scared <laughs> of the animatronic robots. <laughs> and then in retrospect, look at that, I'm like, that actually was really scary. Seeing that gorilla play like a banjo. Yeah. Well, it, it was scary and it still is. The descendants of those robots are innovation. Yeah. Yeah. He can wow. play the, the fake banjo better than anybody. What is our nickname for him, Innovation Deep Blue? I don't know. I don't know that we have a good enough one for him yet. I know that he has one in Korea already. What is it? I don't remember. It's like Deep Blue. I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, he's much better than that. Hmm. I want to point to the narrow toes. I don't know if you caught this. This is the first cast I've accidentally cursed it. Is it? I accidentally said the F word, I think, two games ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're a potty mouth. I'm a, I'm a poopy mouth. Yeah. You need to not. Do I that. haven't done that in so long. I have. Well, you accidentally swear on air more than me. Yeah, I do. By like a thousand percent, but. I'm just, I'm like too comfortable, and it's like that's just how I talk. I just. Well, you know what's funny is like, if you guys didn't know this, like, our toes is me when we're not on camera swear. A lot. I've actually cut down a lot since having the baby. Well, I don't you got ever to, swear man. In front of her. You got to, right? Because yeah. that kid's going to learn how you talk and think yeah. this is like a normal speech. So pattern. now I only swear when I'm around you, actually. Well, you swear a lot still, Artos. <laughs> you actually, when you said I've cut down a lot, I'm thinking, like, you haven't changed at all, but maybe it's because I'm not at a home, I kid. Yeah. All right, we have a Roach Warren on the way. Very standard play by Innovation this time, getting the factory before that third uh, command center. Probably angry at himself, dirtying his record by getting a loss in this he's like, He's like, what is this feeling? Is this what it feels like to lose? Hmm. No, it's more like a postponement upon his win. He's like, I wanted to go home and watch the next episode of Game of Thrones, and now I have to waste 30 minutes <laughs> playing this game? You know what character he would be if he was in Game of Thrones? He'd be that guy that could change his faces. Oh, that's a, that's a that's good, a good one, one. No, not quite. I was going to say he would be all three of the dragons. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good. Yeah. This all is right. actually something our toasts and me do constantly. <laughs> this is like I'm all not, we I'm do. not even joking, guys. Our toasts and me actually spend all the time. You're like, who is, is this guy? Who, in Game of Thrones? If this guy was the first in Game of Thrones. Who would he be? Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, there are. This is an all-in. A roach bane all-in coming. Now these hellions gonna scout a couple roaches coming their way. Is he gonna be able to figure out that this is a roach bane all-in though? I think I think he knows it's not. Innovation is gonna have to really turn up. We need more bunkers. He's not starting any. Now he well, sees roaches from that side. Roaches on the left of me, roaches on the right. Here I am, tasteless. Roaches on the top, roaches on the bottom. Stuck in the middle with you. Here a roach, there a roach, everywhere a roach, roach. Old McTosis had a farm. <laughs> Old McSymbol, tasteless. No, man. McTosis is fun. Circling here and a baneling there. Here an explosion, there an explosion, everywhere. Dead Marines! <laughs> oh, that's enough, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can he actually break through innovation? If he gets, he, do, he doesn't have enough bunkers here. This is. I think he's gonna lose again. I think he is. I can't believe he's only just now throwing out the bunkers. Look at that. He pops right out. Still has most of his units there. Uh, innovation. Well, well, we'll see. It's just roaches now and two banelings. Yeah, like he'll. I don't think he's going to. Well, no. There's more lings and banes in the way. So yes, he is going to die. This game is going to end. I think. This first set of units won't do it alone, but... Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think we're at the point where you can't actually turn this around. All right, well, uh, gonna break through there pretty easily. There's basically nothing left. Uh, all right, so just some wings and roaches coming up here now. Innovation barely hanging on, but I don't think it's gonna last for long, especially with this nice ling links around. He does get that bunker done, though, but there's too many Bane links you know what I, here. You know what I guess would be pretty funny is if Symbol ends up winning this and then it's like mass swarm host versus mass swarm host in the finals wouldn't that just be funny it's just like the That's last so time funny, Symbol yeah. played I'm like why doesn't this game change <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this is way too much damage 28 to 85 supply dropping his mules see uh, he was preoccupied earlier unable to drop mules then this is going to be a GG. We're going to get this uh, going into the next game very quickly here. Yeah, yeah, any second. GG. 11 to 88 supply. That is a huge difference. Now, Symbol has cheesed in the last four games. He's yeah. all in. How do you... Well, I think what happens now is Innovation makes a siege tank. 
and does the rest of everything pretty I, much the same. I thought he was going to do it this game. I thought he was going to be like, wait a minute, I see a pattern. Well, he didn't make any additional bunkers. Like, he started and canceled. So he was, he thought it was just a roach attack coming. But if you don't know, I guess better safe than sorry, Tasteless. Symbol, I think he's going to all in again. You think? I, I you don't think he's going to go for a macro game again? And you don't think he's going to go for six queens? Yeah. You don't think he's going to let Innovation just grab his arms and pull them out of his sockets? God and of beat him style. to death with him? Man. I can't believe uh, this series rapidly moving along. Mm -hmm. Our World map's going to be Whirlwind. Now, look, you know what, Artie? What? This is a map that Simple can win on a normal game. Keep it against Innovation. Yeah, it's a yeah. Zerg map. Especially it the lets, cross spawns. It lets Zerg go into the late game. Who's got the best late game Zerg in the world? Uh, uh, Simple. Could be. Hmm. Well, I think that probably what's going to happen is... Uh, I think Innovation is just going to play a little bit tighter, get into the later game, and then just rally units and kill them. <laughs> That's my expert analysis on what I think is going to happen this game, but let's see what Symbol has up his sleeve. Now, think about this. If Symbol wins, oh my god, we're going to the rubber match. That would be crazy. Now, some, I, I don't know how you guys feel about this at home, but I feel like it's completely hopeless for Symbol here. Well, he's got to win here on Whirlwind, which Innovation is very good on. And then the he's got to win on Belshir. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. I guess we'll see. He's uh, he's making that little comeback. I'm actually glad he's won two. I said this is going to be 4-2. Randomized all-ins are hard to beat, Tasis. It is, it is. All right. We're Tastosis, and this is GSL.